Hello everyone, I'm Heather from I Talk You Talk Press. Today I'm going to read you a short story from our level one graded reader, Life is Surprising. I hope you enjoy it. The story is called The Castle. Celine and Dita are tourists. They are in Ireland. It is 4.30 p.m. and it is raining. What shall we do? asks Celine. Look, there is a castle. Let's go into that castle. I think it's still open, says Dita. They walk into the castle. Hello, says Sean, the tour guide. Would you like a tour around the castle? Yes, please, say Celine and Dita. Sean is wearing the clothes of a soldier from hundreds of years ago. I like your costume says Celine. Thank you, says Sean. Do all the workers here wear old costumes? asks Dita. Yes, we do, says Sean. But this castle is small, so there are only two workers. The other worker is Patrick. Sean takes Celine and Dita into the main room of the castle. It is very dark and it is very cold. The floor and walls are made of stone. There is only a small narrow window. Celine looks through the window. The rain is very heavy. May I take photographs? asks Dita. Yes, of course, says Sean. But it is very dark. You won't get any good photographs today. Dita takes many photographs. Then Sean takes them down some steps into a room under the castle. It is very dark, but there is a small lamp. Sean switches it on. How did people use this room? asks Dita. They killed people here, says Sean. They brought enemies here and killed them. But there is an interesting story. One day, a soldier brought a man here. The man was an enemy, but he was very strong. He took the sword from the soldier and killed him. Then, he put the soldier's clothes on and went up the stairs. The other soldiers thought he was the soldier. They didn't know he was the enemy. What happened after that? asks Celine. One of the soldiers came down to this room and saw the dead soldier. Then he understood. He shouted to the other soldiers, Kill that man! He is not a soldier! He is the enemy! But it was too late. The soldiers looked for him, but the man was not there. He escaped? asks Dita. Yes, he escaped, says Sean. Dita takes some more photographs. 
then Sean takes them back upstairs. Celine and Dita say goodbye to Sean and go back to their car. Later that night at the hotel, they look at their photographs on their computer. The photographs are very dark, but one photograph is light and clear. Look, who is that? asks Celine. She points to a man in a photograph of the room under the castle. Is it Sean? asks Dita. No, Sean is here. He is standing next to me. They look at the photograph more closely. Sean is standing on the left of the photograph. On the right there is a man wearing a soldier's costume. It's the other guide. It's Patrick, says Dita. I don't remember seeing Patrick, says Celine. No, I don't remember seeing him either. But we were listening to Sean's story very carefully. So maybe we didn't see him, says Dita. Sean said, you won't get any good photographs. But we did get a good photograph. Let's send it to Sean. He will be very surprised. Dita finds the email address for the castle and attaches the photograph. He writes a message to Sean. Dear Sean, thank you so much for taking us on a tour today. We had a great time. I took a photograph. It is very light and we can see you and Patrick on it. We enjoyed your story very much, so we didn't see Patrick in the room. The next morning, Sean checks his email. He sees the mail from Dita. He opens the photograph and looks at it for a long time. Then he writes an email. Dear Dita and Celine, thank you for visiting the castle yesterday. The photograph is very interesting. Patrick and I enjoyed your visit. He doesn't tell Dita and Celine that he was alone yesterday. He doesn't tell them that Patrick is on vacation in Spain. He doesn't tell them that there was no one else in the room under the castle yesterday. At least no one alive. How was it? Did you enjoy the story? I hope so. See you in the next video.